Here to weigh in is a man who's running to take that job as president of the United States, Senator from South Carolina, Tim Scott. Senator, do you feel great to see you, sir? Uh, I know you've been busy. Senator, do you feel like you're running against, should you get the nomination, do you feel like you're running against Kamala Harris more than Joe Biden? I, I got to say, Joe Biden's age is not the problem. It's his incompetence that we should be very concerned with. However, if you want to hear the scariest r words on any screen in the country, Kamala Harris is ready to be your president. That should scare the dickens out of all of us. Uh, Joe Biden's failure is undeniable and can be measured in the pain that the average family is feeling, loss of thousands of dollars of spending power, a wide open, insecure and unsafe border. And then if we want to exacerbate the situation even worse, Kamala Harris is ready to make things much, much worse. That's why the truth of my life disproves and disrupts the narrative of the radical left. It's one of the reasons why I will beat Joe Biden and God forbid, if I have to, Kamala Harris too. So right now, 70% of the Democratic Party want a different nominee, but that's really another party's problem. But you probably like this CNN poll because CNN doesn't seem to like their own poll. They say head to head, Joe Biden loses to almost every Republican candidate except for Vivek Ramaswamy. And they have you beating uh, Biden for two, uh, by two points. Why do you think that is? Well, I think, the, a, a, number one, having been raised by a strong, powerful Christian woman, my mother, in poverty, in a single parent household, my story is America's story. No matter the situation, within three generations, the American family is all about the same. We all have obstacles right. and then opportunities manifest. If we focus on bringing this country together on optimistic, positive conservative principles, it scares the left. And that's why the GOP, the great opportunity party, with me at the top of the ticket, will have a red wave mm -hmm. winning back the majority of the Senate, expanding the majority in the House. And that scares the dickens out of the radical left. Because right. my life is a classic example that all things are possible in the greatest nation on God's green earth. Right. Uh, one thing that happens when you're a governor or a senator, a lot of times you don't have that foreign policy experience in uh, decisions, international uh, relations decisions, one of which will be in your lap for your president, and that's what happens to the Ukraine war. Evidently, according to this Daily Mail story, Vladimir Putin is betting that Donald Trump will win. Because Donald Trump has said repeatedly he is not going to finance this war. He's going to end it in 24 hours and America will pull out, essentially. Would President Tim Scott be good news for Vladimir Putin? Really bad news for a murderous dictator named Putin. There's no doubt that the Russian genocide in Ukraine has devastated not only the Ukrainian people, but it's also threatened NATO territory that's contiguous with it. More important than anything else is what is America's national vital interest in Russia and in that conflict. It is simply degrading the Russian military. We have been very effective with our resources without a single boot on the ground. We've been very successful at degrading the Russian military. That's good news for the homeland. It's really good news for our NATO partners. As president of the United States, I would target this rising axis of evil between China, Iran, and Russia. Uh, and now, Ed, in North Korea, it uh, looks like Iran, uh, we do have a legitimate axis. It seems like a lot of spokes in that wheel of evil. Uh, I want to bring you to Getting another. Bigger. Yeah, uh, it really is. I want to bring it to, so you'll finance the war. That's interesting, uh, Senator, because people like Josh Hawley and others just want to cut it off, uh, Rand Paul and even the president, uh, the former president. I want to bring you to another Axios story. And this headline, you might have caught your attention. GOP donors are privately pushing to Senator Tim Scott to give more details about his private life, your single status. So you must have heard this, and you've got to be attuned without donations, without support. You can't run. What is your status? Well, obviously, uh, at this point, I'm taken. I have a wonderful girlfriend, and uh, we have a wonderful relationship. The good news is uh, God has blessed me with a smart Christian woman. That, that's great news. But more importantly is why are, are the headlines there? The headlines are there because as I rise in the polls, as people show up at my, my town halls, it scares even my opponents. Uh, everybody wants to find a way to win this race. I'm going to focus on having that optimistic, positive message delivered with a backbone and staying focused right. on the American people who say 
They like me a lot, and I want to make sure that they have a chance to make me their president. We, we met your mom. Will we meet her? Will we meet your girlfriend? You will, of course, at some point. Okay, great. Lastly, on education, probably uh, arguably as, as important as anything uh, that you're running on, you have an education program. Real quick, give me an idea of what education would be like under Tim Scott. Well, from the smartphone to the locker room to the classroom, we need parents back in charge. If we empower parents, we protect kids. School choice from sea to shining sea, parental consent for kids under 14 to get on their social media platforms, and most importantly, God made you a man, play sports against men. <laughs> it should be a no-brainer, but evidently in this country right now, it's not. Senator, I know I, grabbed, I, literally, I literally grabbed you off the trail to have a few, uh, some quality minutes tonight. Thanks so much. Take care, Brian. All right. Uh, best of luck, and we'll see you at the debate in a couple of weeks. Hey, can we, a quick note. Don't forget to DVR the show in case you miss it. 8 o'clock, you know it. You can also follow us on social